So once you have the reference sequence, you can align your reads to the reference sequence. There are many tools for doing this, and the most used tools for mapping DNA reads are Bowtie, BWA, and Minimap2. So all these mappers use one or two clean FASTQ files as input, one FASTQ file in case of single-end data, two FASTQ files in case of paired-end data. And all these mappers will generate one single BAM or SUM file as output. It doesn't matter whether it is single end or paired end data, the mappers will generate one single BAM or SUM file. And that BAM or SUM file contains all the information from the FASTQ file. So you can see here, for instance, the ID of the read, you can see the sequence of the read, and you can see the quality scores. And on top of that, it contains the information from the mapping. And that is what you see here. The location of the alignment, quality score for the alignment that expresses whether this read was mapped to one single location in the genome or whether it was mapped to multiple locations, and then a representation of the alignment itself. So that's this thing here, it's called the cigar string, and on the e-learning system you can find more information about these cigar strings. So in the cigar string you can see, for instance, whether there are gaps in the alignment. So the I here and the D, they represent gaps in the alignment.